Hello, this is a demo about the migration tools provided by iSpire Systems for the Oracle to DB2 OS 390 migration. First of all, I'd like to mention that iSpire Systems provides tools and services for automating the databases and applications migration processes for a variety of conversion directions. The list of tools supplied for such kind of automation is as follows. SQLways Wizard, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database conversion process tuning for the SQLways command line tool. SQLways Studio, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database or application scripts conversion process tuning for the SQLways command line tool that can work with one script at a time. SQLways Commander, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database or application scripts conversion process tuning for the SQLways command line tool that can work with multiple scripts at a type. SQLways Exe, a command line tool that can be run in batch mode and can perform the automatic conversion of the database using the ODBC connection. Also, it can be run to convert the database and application code provided in scripts. This is a core tool used by other GUI tools provided by iSpire systems for migration purposes. In this demo, I will show you the Oracle to DB2 ZOS 390 migration using SQLways Wizard, SQLways Studio, SQLways Commander tools mentioned in the list provided. First, let's start from the SQLways Wizard. This is a tool that can connect to the source database, to Oracle database, using the ODBC connection only. So, to migrate from Oracle to DB2OS 390 database, you need to provide the ODBC DSN for Oracle on the Choose the Source Database page. Also, you need to specify a user and a password with the appropriate rights for making selects from system tables from Oracle. On the Choose a Target Database page, you need to choose a target database from the list of the supported databases. As you can see, the DB2OS 390 database is specified here. Also, you need to provide other credentials for the DB2OS 390 database for support of definitions and data load using native utilities of this database. All the objects that SQLways manages to extract from the Oracle, it depicts in a tree view on the specified database objects or query page. Here you can select all the objects required for the migration. After that, you can specify different of options for automatic Oracle to DB2OS 390 conversion, like options that control the schema name conversion, reserved ports conversion, data types conversion, identifier names conversion, and etc. Also, there are options that can help you to run the definitions and data migration in separate processes. On the specify export file options page, you need to provide the directory which serves as an intermediate repository for the whole migration process and stores all the automatically generated files like SQL files with the converted definitions of the objects, IXF files with the data prepared to be loaded into the uh, target database, BAT or SH files with the commands for native utilities to load both definitions and data on Windows or on Unix-like OS. All the Oracle to DB2 OS 300 90 migration process is performed in two steps. Each of them has, has separate login information. For the export process, there is a provided a SQL ways log file with the information about the objects read from the Oracle database, their number, number of rows of data and the size of the data per each table extracted, number of lines of code per each business logic objects like views, stored procedures, user-defined functions, triggers, packages, and etc. 
At the end of the export log file, there is provided a summary information for each object type regarding the number of objects, the common size of data, number of rows of data or lines of code depending on the object type, the export status regarding whether there were any failures or no during the export process, and the total information for the whole database export. Similar information, but in more readable format, is provided in the SQLways report HTML file. There is a summary table with the complete export status and statistics per each object type, and there are also tables with a list of objects and more detailed statistics for each object extracted from Oracle database. As for the import process, SQLways generates a SQLways IMP.log file for the import into the DB2OS 390 database that contains information about what object is being loaded and whether there are any issues during the import process or no. Now, let's turn to the SQLway Studio and SQLways Commander tools that are designed for database scripts and application scripts conversion purposes. In SQLway Studio, to convert from Oracle to DB2OS 390, all you need to do is to provide the conversion direction using the source and target options. Then in Menu, Options, Migration, in additional options, text box, need to specify target product common line option, slash tprod equals db2zos, and if required, target version command line option, slash tver equals 9.1 for db2os 390 version 9.1 as a target. After that, place the source Oracle code to the left pane of the tool and run the conversion. At the bottom of the tool, you can see the log of the conversion process that shows if there are any errors during the script conversion from Oracle to DB2OS 390 database. After the conversion, you can compare both source and target scripts in one tool side by side for your convenience. In SQLways Commander, there are also two panes which give you the opportunity to specify the file or files or uh, the whole directory for the conversion. So, to convert from Oracle to DB2OS 390 database, you just specify the source and target from the list of supported databases. Then in Menu, Options, Migration, in Additional Options, text box need to specify target product and target version command line options the same way as in SQLways Studio. After that, specify the files for conversion and click Run. When you specify the directory for the conversion, you also need to provide the template for the files that you would like to convert from Oracle to db2os 390 database and provides a target directory. At the bottom there is generated the conversion log with information about conversion issues if any. After the conversion, by double clicking the file in the source and in the target directory, you can review the conversion results side by side like in SQLway Studio. Ok, this is all information I've got for this demo. The information about the peculiarities for Oracle to DB2OS 390 migration and the information about other tools that ASPAR Systems provides for the database migration support will be described in our next demos. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.